Glycolysis is the first step of cellular respiration, which starts with a single glucose molecule. Glycolysis takes place in the cytoplasm of the cell, where ATP donates two phosphates to a glucose in a process called phosphorylation. Phosphorylation is when phosphate is added to a molecule. Glucose is broken into two three-carbon molecules containing phosphate groups that were donated by ATP molecules. Next, the phosphate group is removed from the three-carbon molecules in a chemical reaction chain that produces two ATP from each molecule. But, during the process of removing the phosphate group from these three-carbon molecules, an electron is stored in a molecule called NADH. When NAD plus takes on an electron, it becomes NADH. In the same way that you put money in the bank so that you can use it later, glycolysis stores energy in the form of electrons inside NADH. The two three-carbon molecules at the end of glycolysis are known as pyruvate. Glycolysis, which is the first step of cellular respiration, doesn't require any oxygen, which means it's anaerobic, meaning without oxygen. So what do we wind up with at the end of glycolysis? Glycolysis produces a net increase of two ATP and stores two electrons in two NADH molecules.